While losing weight and getting in shape is popular for New Year's resolutions, so is becoming financially fit. Breaking spending habits can be tough, and trying to figure out where to start can be overwhelming. WBRE, WIOU, Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dumphy shares with us where to begin. Being financially fit is definitely something I'm thinking about. Many hope to start the new year off right by making smart decisions with their money. Well, how do I focus on getting my credit a little bit better? Or, you know, how can I utilize my bank account? You just want to, you know, be good, a good steward for your money, you know, because it comes in slower than it goes out. It all sounds good, but how can you accomplish this resolution? Oftentimes people say, well, I want to get out of debt. And it's sort of like, uh, I want to lose weight. And it doesn't usually go any further than that. Harold Shepley is the CEO of Harold Shepley & Associates, a debt relief law firm. He says in order to better your finances in 2022, you need to have a plan. You do need to curb that spending. Many people have expenses that are too large or they forget about. Where you sign up for a service and you forget about it and those monthly fees keep coming out. Another solid approach, increase your income. Or get a part-time job or do something on your own time. Once you're making more money, you need to learn to save it before you pay off any debt. So you might want to set up a separate bank account to have that money flow into. That way you know you have it. When it comes to tackling debt, Shepley recommends starting with your smallest debt first. Even if the interest rate's a little lower, just because getting out of debt's a lot like losing weight and you want to keep the momentum going. If your resolution is to start better planning for your future, Shepley says start putting aside 10% of your income in a separate account, such as 401k or IRA. If you keep that, you know, you will one day become a millionaire. Julie Dunphy, 2822 Eyewitness News.